So it's great to see so many folks here. Um, there's a lot of interest about our uh, SR-99 tunnel job and the status of the job at this point. We understand that. It's a very interesting pro pro project and we're thrilled that the public is, is, is engaged. It's very important to us that um, we provide good, timely in information so, so people can, can keep track of this uh, land land landmark job. Um, so starting uh, last part of last week, we did start to encounter a few issues with the tunnel drive. Chris Dixon from Seattle Tunnel Partners will talk, talk about that. just want to remind folks that we've done a lot of work so far. We're about 1,000 feet into our drive. We're over 50% done with the contract at this point. Uh, we uh, just opened bids on our North Access contract today. We are still on track for completing uh, this contract and a series of contracts within the commitments that we made for the public. It is way too early for us to have any comment whatsoever on is this going to cost more money, is this going to delay the end completion of the project. Um, we don't know enough yet. Okay, We're, we've, we've got some investigation going on right now as we speak, and uh, Chris Dixon of Seattle Tunnel Partners will be happy uh, to give you a bit of a status on uh, that, that effort. If you want to try to dig down in water, land, and soil, it creates a very we would have to have a very robust, extensive shoring system, similar to what we constructed in the launch, the, yeah. the, the launch pit. Uh, it's not an easy place to dig any sort of a cut and cover type of a hole. So it's not just a matter of um, you know plunking a few holes down and mag 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 magically bringing up uh, something that may might, might be in the way. We are, however, um, you know the, the, the contractors working on their investigation means most likely will consist of dr drilling a variety of holes to see what may or may not be out there. Um, they'll finalize those plans later th this week, and as soon as we know what plan they're going to implement, we will let you guys know. The uh, uh, strata of ground that the machine is in right now is primarily gravel and sand. It's overly consolidated glacial gravel and sand. Right underneath the TBM is a very thick layer of uh, over-consolidated clay. So it's basically in a big water-bearing lens of soil that sounds sitting really on the top, somebody, on top of clay. Is that, is that so the water is coming in that's through a variety of ways and just sits there on top of that clay, which is why there's so much water in the ground right where the TBM is. So it's very important that uh, the contractor really think this out, come up with the best and safest way to do their investigation. Last thing anyone wants to do is do something that's not well thought, thought out, because you might get somebody hurt, you might damage the machine, uh, so it may it might seem like it's taking a while for the contractor to come up with their means and methods of investigating, but what they're doing is being true, true, which is exactly what we want. Uh, yeah, our our test borings from um, the south end of the job all the way to the north end do show a risk of having bolt bolt bolts. Uh, in fact, we told the contractor to expect some. Uh, TBMs can get through bolt bolt boulders. Some easier, some more difficult. Uh, what's particularly challenging right here is the tunnel boring machine is not very deep. If it were deeper, you might be able to do a hyperbaric inter intervention, get in there with your uh, divers and compressed air, but since we're not very deep, if they try to create this hyperbaric intervention with compressed air, there's a, there's a, there's a risk that you might lose your air bubble to the, sur the surface because you just have air uh, like um, a yeah. poor soil above you. So it's a um, it's a very unique situation that we have we we have here. And the contract is going through a very well thought out uh, strategy on how to best uh, effectuate um, an analysis of what they have. Once we know what, once they know what they have, then they will put their plan into place on removing it. Bertha can handle most any boulders uh, as long as there are boulders that can be held in place. And the ground that we have here, the ground is fairly, um, it, 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 it's gravelly, it's sand, it has a lot of wa water in it. If that boulder, if there is a boulder in front and it won't stay in place because the ground is all watery and sandy, that boulder can move. If the boulder is moving out in front of the machine, the machine has a much harder chance uh, or a harder time trying to grab a hold of parts of it and break it off. If it was a, bol a boulder, that could be uh, one of the, the issues. We really have no idea. Could be something in front of the machine. Could be something that's made of way into the 
machine. There's a thousand theories. Uh, it, some of them more interesting than others. It slowed down considerably. The contractor was using more and more force to advance the machine. You know, I, li I liken it to um, you're driving your car and you have a variety of warning lights in, in your car. Uh, you can choose to ignore the warning lights or you can say, hey, I've got these warning lights going on. Maybe I should uh, uh, stop and figure out what's going, go going on. You know, there, there were enough warning indications on the machine that it might become overstressed. Um, you know, we're 10% we're, we're, uh, of the way in. We have 90% of the drive left. We want to be very certain that we're not going to do anything at this point that might harm Bertha. Bertha's in good shape. She's operating correctly, and we want to keep it that way. Uh, there's uh, about 20 feet of nat native soil above the top of the machine here. There have been numerous uh, uh, piling um, supported structures built over the last hundred years in this area. So if we if we are finding anything that's, that is not nat nat natural, there might be a uh, you know a dri 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 driven piling or something like that that we may find. Our uh, our uh, Settlers and forefathers here would have had been pretty industrious to, you know, dig a 20-foot hole down in the native ground and, and put a rail car down there and then fill it back back up again. So highly unlikely uh, we have anything that interesting. At the end of the day, it's probably going to be something fairly mundane, you know, boulder pieces, a variety of uh, trash or garbage that maybe made its way into the machine. We'll find out. I believe that uh, the contractor is mobilizing all the right equipment. Uh, he's going to have a good plan to do the in investigation. Not sure how long that will take to complete the in investigation. We're confident we'll figure this out. We're confident we'll have uh, the situation remedied as soon as we can. And uh, this contractor will get back to work uh, with the uh, world's largest, uh, most sophisticated TBM ever built. And we'll be on our way.